Lynn Dorsey is suing his ex-girlfriend, Amy Beverly, for unpaid car payments and the cost of vehicle upgrades. Amy is countersuing for a bed, two cell phones, and the invasion of privacy. Mr. Dorsey, you and Miss Beverly lived together for a period of time. While you were living together, you needed a truck. I just needed some transportation, period. I just chose a truck, though, yes. That's fine. But I assume that the reason that you put the truck in Miss Beverly's name is because she had better credit than you did. Is mm, that correct? Not necessarily. Well, Mr. Dorsey, let me explain something to you. This is going to be a very, very easy case. Yes, ma'am. You bought a truck. You put down the down payment and you made the payments. The truck was in the defendant's name. Correct. Which means it's her truck. It belongs to her. Now, what you're asking for is the down payment that you put down on the truck and the monthly payments that you put down on the truck. Well, you can't get that until you refinance the truck in your name. I Do bought you two cars already. Do you understand? Well, then that's too bad. Then if it was her truck, it was her truck, but... Listen to me, sir. Just spend my Very, money. very easy. She's not paying you a dime. Because really? It, really. Because if she were to give you the truck, she would still be on the loan. The title would still be in her name. You could do whatever you wanted with that truck. If you got into an accident and didn't pay insurance, it would be her responsibility. So what you had to do was say, listen, I'm going to refinance the truck. It was my truck. We understood that. I made the payments on it. You chose not to do that. That's incorrect, ma'am. Did she tell you to refinance the truck? Listen, this is what happened. No, no, don't tell me listen. You don't tell me to listen. Well, well, I'm asking you whether she Judge asked Judy, you. Listen no, to, she didn't. Did you ask she, him to refinance I the truck? I asked her. I, I told her I wanted to refinance the truck, and she wouldn't let me do it. Is that right? And I didn't even what ask the truck in her name. What, what happened was he was supposed to sign a piece of paper stating that he would keep up the payments on the truck and he would be allowed to take the truck. But without him signing notarized paper, I wasn't gonna let him leave with a $50,000 truck in my name, because you're right. Just he a second. Done anything. And I I'm asking. I don't even wanna say it, just whatever though. <laughs> you have the truck? I do. Who's making payments on it? Me. Since when? Since this month was hmm? my first payment. When did you purchase the truck? I purchased it in May, May 10th. Is it new? Yeah, it was, it was brand new. It's brand new. Mm -hmm. So it lost value as soon as you took it out of the shop. Correct. So what kind of truck is it? It is a Chevy Silverado. And when did he leave? He left November. I was put out in November. You left. Whatever, I don't you, care. You called, you called the police. You, you left. Called, you called, you called you somebody left. with a badge. We're done. Hand.